In today's video, we'll be learning how to make paracord mini nunchucks snake knot style. Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. So the paracord mini nunchucks have returned. Um, if you didn't see the first video, these were the original, uh, original design that um, we did. We used a round sinnet over the nail. So we're doing something similar. And as you can see by comparison, these on uh, this latest version, it's a bit slimmer and a bit more low profile. So we've just done a snake knot over top of the nail um, for that added weight. And um, these ones turned out really nice, I think. Um, they're not much slimmer, so um, they play a bit differently. So that's what we're doing today. It's not too difficult to do, and it's, they're a lot of fun once you get the hang of them, start to do some tricks. Now, as for tricks, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna be talking about where you can learn a bunch of awesome um, tricks for these paracord mini nunchucks and um, that way you can really start to have fun with these okay so that is what we're doing today guys a huge thank you to this month's patreon supporters guys thank you so much for your support making a world of difference as always uh, remember if you want to check out what i have to offer on patreon you can get ex access to exclusive tutorials and giveaways and um, you can check out those links down below all right and remember all materials i use you can find on my amazon influencer store amazon affiliate links in the description box down below all right that being said let's get into it Okay, so the first step is we're going to join our two nails together. These are going to be the cores of the nunchucks. So I've got a small piece of paracord. And this is going to be the yeah, mid cord. And I've got one end cut off. So all I'm going to do first is take out just a small section of the, uh, the inner guts like that. Then I'm going to cut them off. like so okay then I'm going to take my jet lighter I'm just gonna melt that in slightly so okay now we're going to take our nail and place it just on the inside there maybe about that much see just uh, half an inch or so you don't have to sheath the whole nail in it Okay, so hold that right there. Now from this point, we're just gonna take some super glue and just add a little bit of super glue on the end here just to keep it locked in place. So you don't have to put too much, just enough to keep it from moving. So next we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're just going to cut off that end of the paracord. Okay. And then we're going to remove just a bit of the inner guts. Now don't pull on it too hard because there's nothing really holding it here because we clipped it. So just pull on a little bit like so. Cut that off. Take your lighter, just melt that a little bit. And now we're going to stick the other nail in here. So now I want the um, midsection between these two nails to be about three and a, uh, three quarters of an inch or so. And then you're just going to, again, just glue it down. Okay, so I'm just gonna check that length. So yeah, so the space between my fingers here, uh, my thumbs, anywhere from three quarter of an inch to one inch. And then now we're just going to do the same thing and we're just gonna glue down uh, this side right here. Okay, next I've got my two lengths of paracord and I'm just going to join them simply by melting the ends and then uh, fusing them together. Okay, 
Okay, so you want us to do that. Okay, and there we go. So you want to do that twice. So you have two sets of the joined paracord. Now we can start adding that to the nails. Okay, so now we've got our joined paracord and our nail. So see how this is right where the nail gets stiff? That's where the... Um... Okay, so I've got my joined nails and my paracord. So see how um, you can see the nail starts right here? That's where we want to start our snake knot. Okay, so we're going to put this behind the nail. And now you're going to take the white strand. You're going to bring it to this side like so and then you're going to take that end and pass it through that loop there so there's a black behind okay we're going to pull this through and there you go that's the first knot that's how we're going to start off the snake knot so you want to keep this right where the nail starts up top. So next we're going to start tying our snake knots. So take the black strand on the right, bring it around and behind, and wrap it around everything like so. So it's around the nail and the white. And then bring the white behind everything there take this end and pass it through that loop there okay then pull that shut and tighten that knot up Okay, so make sure this, again, stays up top. Don't worry about it sliding down because when we tie all the snake knots, this little bit of the nail is going to keep everything in place. Okay, so keep that right there. And that's the snake knot. Okay, so now we're, let's do that one more time. So remember, black goes around everything. I realize I shouldn't have used black on black for my background, but you can clearly see on my hand where I'm going with this. Okay, so make the loop, and then white goes in front of that and through the loop. This is the exact same method I used for the, um, the snake knot minion. So there you go. And pull that shut. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to do one more, but we'll have a piece of paper in the background just to make things clearer. Okay, so let's do that knot one more time, the white background, just so you can see for sure. So wrap that around like so. Then take this white piece and put it through this loop right here. There we go. Okay. So that is snake knots. Now we're just going to keep tying them all the way down until you get to the very bottom of the nail. So I've come down to the end here and for the last knot just do the same as you would. Wrap that around. See that space there? And then put the paracord through. And then just tighten it up. Okay, so you've done one side now, or and we can just uh, snip and singe this paracord where it is, and then you're gonna just do the same thing on the other side. So you did one, now do the other.
Okay, there we have it. We are finished. These uh, paracord mini nunchucks are looking pretty sharp, if I might say so myself. And I snipped and singed off the excess paracord, and the end of that nail just holds everything in place. And these came together quite well, if I might say so. So um, these are ready to go, ready to be uh, played with. So if you're asking about uh, tricks and whatnot, um, don't want to leave you guys hanging about that. So I'm going to link down below a really great channel, uh, Jimpy Designs. Uh, he actually has, he's more prominent on uh, Instagram. I will link his Instagram uh, as well. And um, he's a creator of actually these guys. These are the titanium, um, he called them thumb chucks. These are the original thumb chucks. I know the, when you think about thumb chucks, you think of the that rubbery um, Big Larry toy. But uh, these came out before that, and unfortunately, Thumb Ch uh, Everyday Play took that Thumb Chuck's name. But anyways, separate video. Um, but yeah, he created these, which inspired these, of course. So these are really fun to play with. We'll have uh, more about those later. But uh, he does have a couple of tutorials on his channel about how to use um, mini nunchucks or thumb chucks. And a lot of the tricks are very similar to, they have a lot of crossover to um, Bala songs. So for those of you who are you know, balance on flippers, you'll have a lot of fun with these. And if not, you know, you can learn as well. Um, it's not too hard. It's a little tricky. I'd say it's a bit trickier than Big Larry, but, um, you know, when you get it down, it's pretty fun. Okay, so check out those links down below for tutorials on tricks. And, um, yeah, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope you uh, enjoyed this as much as the first version of the Paracord Mini Nunchucks. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. Have fun. All right, guys, um, if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. And also, if you're not subscribed already, uh, please do subscribe for more awesome content like this. And um, yeah, I hope you guys will try it out and I'll see you on the next video.